Welcome back to Make Easy. In this video, I will be showing you how to calculate reverse of the number and check whether that is palindrome or not. So basically, what is palindrome? Palindrome is any sentence, phrase or number which reads same from backward as well as forward. Example, madam, M-A-D-A-M. From backward also, that is M-A-D-A-M. Next number is one two one. That is back from backward also one two one. If user will enter one two three from backward, that is three two one. So that is not palindrome. But if user will enter one two two one from backward also, that is one two two one. So this is palindrome. We are going to check that using the while loop in QBasic in very simple way. If you haven't watched the previous video of reverse of the given number, you can watch that and understand how it works with dry run. And we can watch this video to understand it in a very simple way. Let's go to the screen and solve that problem. How to check input number is palindrome or not? So first important thing, what is palindrome? You can read this definition. A word, phrase or sentence that reads the same backward as forward so example madam you can read this way madam and you can read from this also m a d a m this is what palindrome this number also one to one from this side also this is one to one so this is what palindrome but this one one two three from this way and this way three to one this is not palindrome we are going to check whether input number is palindrome or not so for that you have to understand the reverse of the given number reverse means We'll calculate if user will enter 1 to 3, we'll calculate 3 to 1, that is from the backward. If input number and the reverse number is same, then it is palindrome, else not palindrome. So I have already made the video on reverse of a given number. We are going to use same code here up to this one. So if you don't know how it works with dry run, you can watch the previous video. I'll provide the link in the description and come back to watch this video. Okay, first we take an input and store that number in n. I have stored this original input number in original variable. You can keep variable name any, your choice. And you have to keep that input number in that variable because n value will be changed in this loop because we are doing here n equals to n integer division 10. So the original value you have to store in this variable. While n not equals to zero, the loop will execute and it will calculate the reverse of the number and that will be stored in REV. You can watch previous video. I'll provide the link to know how this work. When we have calculated the reverse, that is if user will enter 1 to 3, then we'll get 3 to 1 in REV. After that, we have printed the reverse of the number, that is REV. After that, if REV, reverse number, that is 3 to 1, equals to original. Original is 1 to 3. If both are same, this is palindrome else this is not palindrome in the case of one to one original number is one to one and reverse number is also one to one so this condition will be true then this is palindrome in this way it works let's run the program and check it if you have any confusion you can comment below i will try to help you for that okay one two one Reverse of given number is 1 to 1 because it reads same from backward also. And 1 to 1 is palindrome. Fine. Let's run the program again and enter the different number. That is 1, 2, 3. Yeah, 1, 2, 3 is not palindrome because reverse is 3 to 1 and original number is 1, 2, 3. So in this way it works. Let's enter another number again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is not palindrome. Let's enter another number. 1001 yeah 1001 is 0001 is palindrome in this way it works if you learn something from here don't forget to click on the like button click on the subscribe button and share with your friends have a good day and see you in next